There, this, there's just so much innuendo in this episode. I blanket apologize. <laughs> Welcome to Savage Kitchen. Today, we're doing something a little bit differently. I've pulled in somebody from the street to help me taste things. <laughs> this is my friend, Jason. And uh, not too long ago, Jason uh, enlightened me as to the best bourbon candy I have ever had in my life. Um, so today, we are gonna be making a cocktail that goes along with happy balls. Yes, you heard that right. They're called happy balls. Um, the other thing I'll say is if you are at all offended by like third grade humor and gross out jokes, you should just skip to the next video right now because this is going to be full of it. So I'm sorry. I'm already offended. <laughs> you should probably leave. <laughs> Happy Balls are made by the Old Louisville Candy Kitchen in Old Louisville, Kentucky. And so I came to find them through Jason, who is friends with Kristen Amity, who make these Happy Balls. So why don't you explain a little bit uh how you know them and why these are so amazing. Yeah, so um, Chris Thoderopoulos and I graduated uh, from West Point in 1998 and both served in the military. Chris recently retired uh, from a career in the Army and when he was nearing retirement was trying to decide what he was going to do for the rest of his life, so to speak. Daunting. And so he and his wife Amity had met a woman who owned the recipe to this uh, bourbon ball and they were able to negotiate some kind of deal with them and essentially acquire the recipe and turn it into their own. And that was the creation of Happy Balls. Um, they have been providing these to our classmates for a couple years now. One of our classmates, Colonel Drew Morgan, is an astronaut, spent nine months on the International Space Station and brought some Happy Balls into space with him. Do you think he probably so, rationed them for like the duration of his stay or like... I have no idea. Like, how many do you I, You can't really ration them, because when no. I open the box, I end up eating the whole thing. I had the good fortune to talk to Kristen Amity a few weeks ago and talk about what goes into these, the story that Jason just told of how they came across the recipe and told them, I want to make a cocktail, because I always want to make a cocktail. So today, we're actually going to make two versions of a cocktail. Uh, and the reason for that is because one's going to be a very sort of craft cocktail that you would find in a speakeasy, sort of pre-prohibition era inspired. It's called a flip and it does have raw egg in it. So this is why we're making two because I don't want uh, somebody who doesn't like raw egg to not have a cocktail to enjoy. So Jason's going <laughs> to test out both the flip and then a non-flip version, which does not have egg in it. So that's the difference, right? A flip is a cocktail that is uh, spirit, sugar, and a whole egg. Um, and then we're going to do the same exact recipe, just minus the egg. And I swear to God, I really think that you're going to like okay. the flip. I know you don't I, I haven't tried either of these. So this is my, whatever my reaction is, <laughs> that's, that's as honest as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> it's mice in the shaker. And then two ounces of our noble oak bourbon. <laughs> And then we're gonna take a quarter ounce of this Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. This is just a, um, a cherry liqueur. Have you ever tried this? Mm. Smell that. It smells delicious. I know, it is delicious. It's, uh, it's Luxardo cherries in liqueur form. There's a lot of different brands that make this. Anything will do. Um, but if you enjoy this cocktail or cherry flavor in general, I definitely recommend this. You can and put more in. It's subtle. <laughs> Then this, this is ridiculous. So this is what I've been working on for a couple of days now. This is a pecan orgeat. And orgeat is an almond syrup. So this is made with pecans. If you don't have the time or inclination to make this, you can absolutely make this with a store-bought orgeat. Um, but you wanna make this. I'll put the recipe for this below. I also think we're gonna do a whole separate episode on how to make this because like, hello Thanksgiving. Okay, and now we're gonna do a few dashes of Mexican chocolate bitters. Um, I love these by, that was a lot of dashes. You like chocolate. Yes. <laughs> I, nothing sounds bad so far. <laughs> All right, let's give this a shake. I should let you do the honors while I rim the glass. Here, shake. 
I saw oh Tom Cruise in a cocktail. Is this where I start twirling? Yeah. And stuff? <laughs> Honestly. Are you afraid it's go. gonna like fly across the room or no. something? <laughs> Okay, that's probably good. I'm not done yet. You're not done yet? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Here to help. All right, so what I've done is I've just taken a little bit of that uh, pecan syrup and uh, done a rim on the glass. And now I just put that through some cocoa, just plain old Hershey's cocoa and some sea salt. Flake sea salt. Flake sea salt. This smells amazing already. Okay, so this is cocktail one. This is our, uh, what am I gonna call this? Praline something? I don't know yet, we'll name this at the end. So cocktail one. So now for our flip, we're gonna do the same exact ingredients in the same ratios, but we're adding an egg. And there's a little bit of a technique to this when you add an egg. But the first thing is don't get eggshell in the drink because that would suck. So I'm gonna break this into a separate bowl just in case. And the second thing is that we're gonna do something called a dry shake. So that means we're gonna include the whole egg and all of our other ingredients and shake it before we add ice to chill the drink. So let's work backwards. Whole ounce of our pecan or jot. And then we're gonna do half ounce of our Luxardo cherry liqueur. Make yourself useful, put some lids on things. And then we're gonna do two ounces of bourbon. And a few dashes, again, of our chocolate bitters. A lot of dashes of chocolate bitters. <laughs> Dash means different things to different people. <laughs> You're not gonna be mad at it, I swear to God. <laughs> Okay, so now this is important, the dry shake, you really gotta shake it because in shaking, you're actually emulsifying all of your liquids together and you're changing the particles of the raw egg. So it actually essentially ends up cooking the egg without heat. So you're not gonna die from salmonella. Yay! Yay! <laughs> all right, shake that violently. Is it time to drink and eat happy balls yet? Almost. <laughs> all right, so again, to rim a glass, I'm just taking a little bit of this syrup, I'm gonna twirl the glass. And then through our chocolate and salt. Okay, now let's add some ice to that. So what's awesome about the elevated shaker, when you're shaking egg, pressure builds up. So you can actually release the pressure without getting an explosion. A regular shaker, that's gonna explode all over you. Okay. And shake again. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Okay. We should have done this blind. Blind taste test, wasn't thinking. All right, so. I think first we're gonna have you try our non-egg or non-flip version. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thoughts? I really like it. Um, I can definitely see how it pairs with the happy balls, mm -hmm. but I, I was expecting it to be a similar mm. flavor. And so then I was like, well, you're getting kind of two of the same things, but the reality is it's a very different flavor, but very complimentary. So, mm -hmm. okay. I like that a lot. Okay. So let's try the flip version. This is the breakfast version. Yes. Or dessert. I like that just as much, uh, maybe a little bit more. It's definitely smoother and it has more of a creamy texture to it. Mm -hmm. um, 
I feel like the first one was more watery. So it just kind of goes down. Whereas the, the second one kind of stays in your mouth a little bit more and you get a little bit more of the flavor profile. So I think um, that this one, so, so to taste them, hold on. Mm. Ooh, I had a little bit of salt in there too. That was good. <laughs> um, like I could drink several of these. Yeah. This is good. With this one, I think that, um, Mm. <laughs> Sorry, that was really good too. Uh, that one to me is much more of like a holiday. The thickness of it, it reminds me, it's not eggnog, um, but there is a similarity, I think, there. Yeah. Where like it reminds me of like a very special decadent dessert drink. We, what are we doing? We should be tasting these yeah. with. Here. So, actually, one of the things that I like <clears throat> the Happy Balls, um, there's a distinct bourbon flavor. Yes. But it's not overpowering. Right. It's, like it's this present. to me is very much like a cherry cordial, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like, <clears throat> it reminds me my, growing up, my favorite treat was like a chocolate covered cherry. Mm -hmm. And this one. has that feeling to mm -hmm. it with, but you add the, the nuttiness and things like that. So what, mm. the point being, this doesn't have an overpowering bourbon flavor. It has mm -hmm. more of a cherry flavor. Same thing with these drinks. You can taste the bourbon, mm -hmm. but the Marchino cherry liqueur, um, you know, everything that you've kind of added gives the same ratio feel mm. as the bourbon ball. So again, huh. you, I don't feel like I'm drinking a bourbon drink. I feel like I'm drinking this delicious kind of after dinner mm. dessert drink that complements these, these balls perfectly. So success. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. Oh my God. Okay. okay. The bourbon balls really are. <laughs> are you keeping both of them? I think that's a win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to put links to Happy Balls down below. Honestly, like, I feel like if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm enthusiastic about flavors and foods. These are some of the best things I've ever had in my mouth. Ever. They're, they're outrageous. They also, it's worth noting. Where did I put them? Mm. <laughs> so... Happy Balls has branched out a little bit to now include Dream Dongs. Um, because if you like balls in your mouth, you should definitely try a dong. Right? It goes without saying, yeah. Obviously, yeah. Um, Dream Dongs are essentially, uh, imagine a Twinkie, uh, getting into an illicit relationship with dark chocolate and sea salt and a little bit of bourbon. They're, they're real good. They, um, and also that the sea salt and the chocolate on the Dream Dong are definitely what inspired the rim on this cocktail. Hard to say which of these I like better. I'm going to go with the, the flip. Really? <clears throat> mm -hmm. So egg in a cocktail. Yeah. Are you a convert now? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's not something I would consider. Uh, you don't taste it though. It's it more not at just, all. It, it emulsifies and it adds almost like aerates the texture. Mm -hmm. So it, like I said, it's more more filling and it just lingers a little bit longer. Silky. And I have to say, comparing the the Happy Balls with these drinks is incredible. So, you know, just now having eaten it and then washed it down with this, like, <laughs> yeah. do, do you need a minute? Well, I just, I think you're onto something. Like, no. Yeah, they need to go together. So. I think so too. So, uh, Chris and Amity, I'm gonna send you a bottle of this uh, Luxardo cherry liqueur because you're gonna have to try this. And, wow. uh, yeah, if you, uh, enjoy fall, if you enjoy bourbon, if you enjoy pecans, all of these things. Oh, <laughs> you can just drink that if you want. I'm going to actually <laughs> definitely get yourself some happy balls, make yourself this cocktail. Let me know how it goes. Do all the YouTube -y things like comment and subscribe. And, uh, we'll be back for more soon. Cheers friends.